Uh, Jürgen, Jordan Henderson described it as a great performance for 70 minutes. What's your verdict on the performance and what have those two Roma goals done for the mood in the dressing room and I suppose the momentum in the tie as well? To be honest, the biggest blow for the mood in the dressing room is the injury of Oxley chamberlain So, conceding two goals is not what you want, 100%, but it's not to change anymore, so we can deal with that. That's football. I thought, yeah, we played, the boys played a brilliant game, so over a very long period. Um, and even the, the last few minutes when we conceded, we did, that was. Dejan played a world-class game. He was outstandingly good and this ball he misjudged. It's only a little bit too early, but that's usually no problem. If the fullback is <laughs> in the right position, Trent, who played an outstanding game, world-class game, um, is not in the right moment because Dejan won, won all the balls before. And so then he is in a good position, he can score. Um, yeah, and then... So we made one mistake, the ref made one mistake, and in the end, two goals for them. Um, that's how it is. Um, I, when I was sitting here after the game against Man City, then everybody told me that the first goal was obviously we scored. The first goal was slightly offside. So we took that. So we take the penalty as well. Um, but now we have to. Um, Work again at Rome. That's no problem. We would have, we should, have, yeah. There would have been work for us to do when we win five 0 because Rome would have tried everything to strike back anyway. So that's not a big difference. And I, what I learned tonight is that we can win the second game as well, even when it will be different. But um, Rome needs to score goals against us. Um, and I said it a few times, and it sh should not sound like a warning or whatever, but we are not Barcelona. Barcelona is, uh, is uh, one of the two or three best teams in the world, and they won so much things in the, so many things in the, in the last few years. And we didn't. <laughs> so we will fight with all we have for that result again. And um, so it's much better than I could have expected before the game. But now, in the moment, of course, I feel the two goals we conceded still. But I'm already, to be 100% honest, already in a Stoke game. So I'm much more interested about a Stoke game in the moment than about a second leg against Rome. So, um, And I said it before and I say it again. The, the atmosphere tonight was absolutely outstanding. What you can expect if you are 5 0 in the lead, the, the people really enjoyed it. So and I say to everybody who has a ticket, I expect exactly the same atmosphere at Saturday at 12.30 because we need it. Yeah, that's a massive game for us and um, we need to be ready for that and we try everything to be ready for that. One more in here. Jürgen, I know we speak about Mozart a lot, but this evening he's been described as the best player in the world. How would you describe him? Would you go that far? In that shape, uh, outstanding. <laughs> um, pretty much not to defend. To be honest, the way we played was um, disordered. Like I said the first 15 minutes we needed to learn a little bit to adapt to the formation of the opponent, um, and then we played how we played. And uh, he's a massive, um, has a massive impact on that, of course. I like the other boys, of course, as well. But, but then the first goal is a just a genius strike. So he scored already a few like this. It makes it even more special. <laughs> it makes clear it's no coincidence. Um, and the second goal was brilliant play. So Bobby between the lines turns and um, makes that run, pass the ball, and then he's quite cool in the moment. That's true. Then he ma makes the other two goals, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, if anybody wants to say that um, um, it was my mistake that we conceded two goals because I changed the strike, I have no problem with that. Um, I cannot be only in one game so and we I, I actually I thought we we didn't prepare our passes that good anymore so we shot them behind the line and Mo was running for all of them and um, that would not have helped us to be honest um, if he gets any injury so um, that was the reason for that um, and that's it what a player good to have him Look, you always create stories with only if you think he's the best in the world, write it, yeah, and don't need you know, yeah, or, or, or say it, 
whatever. Hip is in outstanding good shape, in a world class shape, 100%. And that's good. To be the best in the world, you need to do that over a longer period, I think. And there are a few others that are not too bad, so why should you? He is a fantastic player. I'm really happy to have him. Uh, just a little earlier, uh, Di Francesco said, if any of my players don't believe that we can come back into this tie, then I won't pick them. Do you think that, um, or do you expect to see a different Roma in the second leg, um, a little bit like the Roma that played against Barcelona? Yes. <laughs> Were you surprised um, how easy it was um, for your three attackers to isolate the Roma defenders, the three Roma defenders, and have lots of one-on-ones. Was that the way you seen the game going, and in your preparatory, in your preparations for the game? No, actually, we thought we they play the other system. We, when we saw the lineup, then we saw we knew about the system, of course. And um, it's not a system problem or whatever. We, I, we did really well. We uh, we prepared these passes in behind. We made these runs in behind. They are difficult to defend with our speed. So. Um, it was not one second easy. Um, it was a lot of work to do to come in these positions, and the boys did the work. That's all. First of all, congratulations on this evening. And then secondly, um, did you expect um, Salah to have the kind of impact that he had tonight? And also, um, how different would the game have been had Salah tonight still been wearing a Roma shirt rather than a Liverpool shirt? <laughs> <sighs> I'm really not interested in that answer, to be honest. Um, not um, it, it is like it is. Um, if Neymar goes not to Barcelona, uh, to PSG, Phil Coutinho is probably still here. That would have made the life not much easier. So it's all if, if, if um, for Rome then. So it's like it is. Yes, yes. Um, we were, we hope that he will have that impact. To be honest. And yes, he plays a season which is obviously because everybody's so excited about is not normal. So, and we hope and try to help him that he can continue like that. That's the job to do. So, and um, it's it's a team game, but you need the players to make the decisions, to make the decisive things. And obviously, he's very good in making decisive things. So. We are really happy that um, um, we could get him in the summer. Well, it's too early to say what Alex Chamberlain has done, but are we talking about the season being over? Looks like this. Unfortunately, we don't know it, of course, exactly. But if um, all the medical department is quite concerned with the scan, then you can imagine that it's difficult. The season is not that long anymore, so uh, it doesn't look good. I hope I'm I'm a very positive person and still hope that um, it only feels bad, but it's not that bad. But we will see that. That's from to be honest. Uh, I, I see in your faces. Maybe you're a little bit surprised why I'm not f- flying in, um, mood-wise. So it's just we we, we lost a, a, a fantastic player tonight, and um, that's not good news. So I cannot. I'm not really in the mood to talk about um, specific fantastic things. We have to do a job again at at Rome. That's no problem. We expected that before. So we will go there and play as good as possible for us. We, I know, since I'm in, lately since I'm in, <laughs> come on, let him in and ask him what he wants. <laughs> What's his problem? Come in, come in. Do you want to go on the other side of the door? <laughs> Excuse me, do you want to go on the other side of the door to it and then we'll continue this? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I said, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> well, now I'm in a better mood. That's so easy, obviously. So, what did I say? Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> no you, you were just about oh, to say, yeah, no, you were just about to say, since when I arrived? Yes. <laughs> Liverpool always has, has obviously to take the, the slightly more difficult way. So, and that's again like this. But at the end, very often, Liverpool still succeeded, and that's what we try with all we have. So, very positive result tonight. Not as positive as possible because of the performance, but very positive. And if one of my players doesn't think that Rome will try to come back, he will not play. I would like to say that, but I don't have enough. So, um, 
probably would even would play anyway. But um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, Sam, just going to finish off now, guys. Okay. Yeah, when, when you talk about, I think you said in the TV you talked about all inclusive football, and you just said there when the team's sort of positive goes we have to accept that when a team is exciting and attacking as this side were tonight that sometimes goals don't generate no, look, we were completely solid in the defence. It happens one time, they played a long ball in the box, which we defended before, that was not even a chance. That can happen, You can. it's nothing to do with defending, and it's not even about criticism. I know what people are saying now, that's the all over world class, and then one mistake. Yeah, the, all the big ones made mistakes like that, that happens constantly. Mats Hummels made bigger mistakes, to be honest, and he's a world class and a half. So, that's how it is. Um, and I've, it's not about that, we, we didn't give any space away. It was not that we were completely open because we are all offensive and then they have one chance after the other. No, that's not, it was not like that. We had, we controlled the game in a very nice football way, to be honest. Good to watch, even for me. So, and then, yeah, now it's not over. That, that's how it is. That's why somebody thought, let's play them one leg here and one leg at Rome. It's more exciting and that's what we do now.